And, and I closed my sermon last week with King David and the fact that he trained and he trained and he trained with a weapon, with the sling, um, so that one day he could hit a target that he didn't even know existed. So I want you to know before we move on that your training today, the things that you're going through now while things are calm, all your study time, all your prayer time, you're, you're persevering through some things, your, your faithfulness to God, you're not quitting when things look tough, all that is setting you up to, for a target, that you're a giant in your life that you're going to fight one day that you don't know exists. Amen? So you're, it's in preparing you for your, a giant in your life. You don't even know it, it exists yet. I didn't know I had targets and, and giants in my life of cancer, but I was preparing for it. I didn't know I was preparing for that with my wife, but I knew I was preparing for something. So if you're not preparing, when the time comes, you're, you're going to miss out. Amen? So my question is, are you preparing right now? Because Jesus didn't say if the storms come. He said when the storms come. And I always use the example when he sent the disciples across the Sea of Galilee to go to the other side. They were doing exactly what Jesus told them to do. And yet the storms came anyways. The storms are coming. The challenges are coming. Anytime you have a target on your back, then you're marked with a cross in your heart that says, I am a born again believer of Jesus Christ you have a target on your back so every every time you take a step forward the enemy takes a step forward but the closer you get to the prize the closer you get to the goal the more the attacks come 